Good morning. This is Father Stephen Kelly from St. John's Church in Detroit. We're continuing our series of daily morning meditations, where we generally look at one or another of the lessons that are assigned for morning or evening prayer, what is known as the Daily Office Lectionary. And today is another Ember Day. It is Ember Saturday uh, in the week following Pentecost, the octave, also known as Whitsuntide. And so I thought we'd go ahead and we take a look at the lesson that's assigned, uh, the second lesson from morning prayer. It's St. Paul's second letter to Timothy, the first chapter beginning at the first verse, so the very beginning of the epistle. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God, according to the promise of life which is in Christ Jesus, to Timothy, my beloved son, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Jesus Christ our Lord. I thank God, whom I serve from my forefathers with a pure conscience, that without ceasing I have remembrance of thee in my prayers night and day, greatly desiring to see thee, being mindful of thy tears, that I may be filled with joy. When I call to remembrance the unfeigned faith that is in thee, which dwelt first in thy grandmother Lois and in thy mother Eunice, and I am persuaded that in thee also. Wherefore, I put thee in remembrance that thou stir up the gift of God, which is in thee by the putting on of my hands. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me, his prisoner, but be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of God, who hath saved us and called us with a holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given us in Christ Jesus before the world began, but is now made manifest by the appearing of our Savior Jesus Christ, who hath abolished death and hath brought life and immortality to light through the gospel, whereunto I am appointed a preacher, and an apostle and a teacher of the Gentiles, for the which cause I also suffer these things. Nevertheless, I am not ashamed, for I know whom I have believed, and am persuaded that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day. Hold fast the form of sound words, which thou hast heard of me in faith and love, which is in Christ Jesus. That good thing which was committed unto thee, keep by the Holy Ghost, which dwelleth in us. Okay, so obviously you hear the references to God the Holy Ghost, because God the Holy Ghost is intricately involved in the ordination process, the picking of those men, uh, which was what we're doing during Ember Days. We're praying for those who are discerning vocations, for those men who are in the middle of the process of being educated for and being chosen to serve as deacons and priests in the church, and of course those men who are about to be ordained. This is the time of the year when a lot of those ordinations do take place. So Paul reminds Timothy that he has the gift of the Holy Ghost, and he has all of this by the laying on of Paul's hands. Paul ordained him. Paul's a bishop, right? He's a, a, a disciple. And a, but more importantly, he's an apostle, um, and so he is laying hands on them. As a, the apostles' the successors are the bishops, the bishops lay hands on the priests and ordain them priests and deacons. And so Paul T Timothy is reminded by Paul that he Paul laid hands on him and ordained him. And then he says, you know, this is the kind of stuff that you're going to have to do in order to be a leader of this church in this place. Uh, and of course, then he wants yearns to go and be with him and to see him. Uh, but he tells him to be just steadfast in preaching the truth which you have received from me, which is of course, the words of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Uh, and it gets that final oomph at the end, which is the good thing which was committed unto thee, keep by the Holy Ghost, which dwelleth in us. And that's, of course, what we've been remembering all this week uh, during Whitsuntide, these days after Pentecost, about the gift of God, the Holy Spirit. So today's Saturday. We don't have public worship today at St. John's, but of course, we're saying our prayers at home, aren't we, right? Yes. Uh, and so please pray for the church. We're praying for you. Uh, and of course, you should be preparing to come to church tomorrow on Sunday as we gather for Trinity Sunday here at St. John's Church. Be sure to be present to glorify God, to worship him, uh, to hear his word, uh, and, to, uh, and to be in the fellowship of the church, but most importantly, to receive him in the blessed sacrament. Unless you eat my flesh and drink my blood, you have no life in you. So God willing, We'll see you in church tomorrow, but I hope that your Saturday is a day that's also full of blessings.